Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we are counting down our picks for the songs written by this legendary member of the Beatles that he wrote for other performers. Thinking about the times you drove in my car. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. I'll Still Love You, Ringo Starr it may come as little surprise that Harrison lent his writing talents to his former bandmate on a number of occasions. After all, as we've seen in our John Lennon list, Ringo often relied on his longtime friends during his solo career. Out of all the Ringo songs written by George, including the likes of You and Me Babe, Photograph and Sunshine Life For Me, we're picking You and Me Babe as it has a distinctly Harrison flavour to it. Yes, Interestingly, the song wasn't even intended to be given to Ringo at all, and was instead pitched for Shirley Bassey. Still, we're grateful Ringo was able to tackle this one, despite some saying he didn't do George's beautiful writing justice. Really Number 9. Try Some, Buy Some, Ronnie Spector We're keeping this one fairly early into our list, because a lot of you will recognise this song as having a George Harrison version already, but that wasn't originally the case. Way back in time, someone said try some, I tried some. Harrison wrote this song for the American songstress Ronnie Spector back in 1971. Ronnie's husband at the time, former Beatles producer and eventual murderer Phil Spector, plucked the song from one of George's recording sessions. Unfortunately, it didn't really make waves the way it should have, both with Ronnie not really understanding the profound lyrics of the song and also the resulting commercial failure. The song would, however, be revisited by none other than David Bowie several years later on his reality album and unsurprisingly, it's a fantastic interpretation of Harrison's brilliant writing. We're back in time, someone said try some, I tried some, now buy some. Number 8. That Kind of Woman, Gary Moore Information is fairly scarce about this track, but one thing is for certain, this song released by Northern Irish musician Gary Moore was written by George Harrison. She's that kind of woman. The track has a more southern blues and hard rock edge to it that we're not quite as used to hearing in George's writing, but it really does work well. Though Gary Moore wasn't the only person to release their version of this song, as there's another famous face who did, that we'll touch upon later on, Eric Clapton. Number 7. All Things Must Pass, Billy Preston One thing we've often seen when exploring songs written by the Beatles for other artists is that they were originally recorded during a session by the Beatles themselves and later dropped. Seems my love is up and left you with no warning. That was the case here with Billy Preston and the 1969 release All Things Must Pass. This, of course, means that there is a version by the Beatles floating about, but it was only released publicly in 1996. A lot of you may recognise this track as being the title song for George Harrison's album of the same name, but as it was Billy Preston, longtime collaborator with the Beatles, who released the track first, there was originally a lot of confusion. Let it be known that this is 100% a Harrison track, though. Number 6. Far East Man, Ronnie Wood 
As you may have seen in our Lennon and McCartney lists, the feud between Beatles and Rolling Stones fans is trivial, since the Beatles actually had a good relationship with them and wrote for the Rolling Stones in the past. Another instance of this was when George Harrison teamed up with Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood. The song was actually co-written by both men, and they subsequently released their own versions of it, though it was Ronnie's that dropped first. Number 5. So Sad, Alvin Lee and Mylon Lefebvre the choice to hand this song to another creator strikes some as a bit odd, since the lyrics are actually so personal to George Harrison. Now the has come to eclipse out the sun. They were written to directly address the breakdown of his marriage with Patty Boyd. Alvin Lee, who was frontman for the band ten years after, was handed the song by Harrison when he heard he was working on a solo album. So Many people still associate this track with Alvin Lee, despite Harrison including his version in the less well-received album Dark Horse. So bad. So sad. Number 4. Sour Milk Sea, Jackie Lomax you don't get the breaks like some of us do. Jackie Lomax was certainly fortunate when it came to this track, as it's one of the rare instances where someone had help from the Beatles combination of George Harrison, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. Though the writing in this track is thanks to George, who drew inspiration from his stay in Rishikesh, India. It obviously leans more towards the Beatles' psychedelic rock period. When the song was recorded, Jackie had the dream team of Eric Clapton and George on guitars, Ringo on drums, and Paul on bass. It's no wonder this one's a banger. Number 3. Sue Me, Sue You Blues – Jesse Ed Davis Here's another one which was surprisingly handed away, despite being such a personal song for Harrison. You serve me, and I'll serve you. Swing your partners, I'll get screwed. Sue Me, Sue You Blues was written in 1971, and was written to address the legal disputes the Beatles had faced over the years, such as the ones with Apple Corp. Gonna play the Despite this, Harrison instead opted to pass it to Native American musician Jesse Ed Davis, who was entirely removed from these issues. Jesse's version was released in 1972, and George's would appear the following year. Number 2. Badge Cream OK, this one may be a little obvious to some of you, but we simply can't talk about songs written for other people by George Harrison without bringing out this absolute classic. Thinking about the times you, drove in my car. you may be wondering why the song is called Badge. Well, funnily enough, it's only because Eric Clapton had misread Harrison's handwriting when he was writing the song, which actually said Bridge. Yes, I told you that Though the song is unmistakably a Harrison piece, he was only ever credited on the UK single version of the track. Hilariously, George also wasn't allowed to openly say that he performed rhythm guitar for the song, as he was signed to another label, and instead had to use the pseudonym L'Angelo Mysterioso. Talking about a girl that looks quite like you. Number 1. Rum So Far, Eric Clapton but Badge wasn't the only time Harrison collaborated with Eric Clapton. In fact, he was even present for his solo career with this song back in 1989. Eric and George were famously good friends, despite both being in love with the same person at some point, and their friendship was immortalised in this killer track. 
It was added to Clapton's journeyman record, but it wasn't the one offered to him, as George also suggested Cheer Down and That Kind of Woman. George's version of this song was only released in 2002, just after he tragically passed away. No escape can only run so far. Which musical legend do you want us to cover next in our series? Let us know in the comments below. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.